Hi there and welcome to the new Tableau tutorial and in this tutorial video we will going to look at a very interesting thing which is related to the comparative analysis. So let's say you are having a line chart like this which is showing you some sort of a trend and you want to really understand what is going on with this different points as you can see this is also one of the point and you want to do some sort of comparative analysis by let's say clicking over like this over here so as i clicked over here you can see that not only this point but the point which is related to this this and this is highlighted along with a line which is giving you a very clear indication about what is really happening with all those data points which is happen which is there in the march so we will going to see how we will create a chart like this. So first of all, what do we have is a very simple um, order date and uh, we have sum of sales, right? This is our sum of sales. And if we take the ship mode from the perspective of category. So right now, if I just select, you will see that nothing appears over here as well as nothing goes down down there. So if I just keep it like an entire view, you know, nothing happens when I select over here. So the first thing is how to display the label when we are showing this information. So over here, we have this label card. So we need to show the label. Now, once we show the mark label, the issue is that uh, you are getting the labels for all the data points that we have but that's not what we want because it makes the chart little clutter and busy so over here in the label the option that we have is uh, highlighted so that means once I select this only then it will be highlighted so that is our number one uh, thing that we want to do now the next thing is how we can do a comparison over here or how we can display the labels when we are displaying uh, when we are selecting this so that we know uh, when we are over here in 2018 what are our sales values for the rest of the ship modes so to do that you need to come into the worksheet and in the worksheet you need to come over here in the actions and click on add action and over here in the highlight when it is highlight you select that dates and times over here this particular section so this is a target highlighting and what we are direct targeting is basically date and times so if i click ok and ok you will see that a date has been highlighted and its respective values so if i select over here the values are displayed over here Similarly, if I will select over here, the values will be displayed over here for the rest of the thing. So we are halfway through this. Now, if I see my previous chart, the another thing that we are doing is color coding the labels based on the color of the line. So how we can do that? So to do that, what do I need? It's the label and in the font, you have the option of match mark color. So if I click over here, you will see that the color has been matched and based on, let's say you want a little bit bold or you want to change the color, whatever you want to do, you can do it. And if I just click it over here, you will clearly see the values. So isn't it nice that, uh, you know, you are doing this comparative analysis like this along with the values. But one last thing is how we can display the line so that our chart will look more professional and more useful so how we can do that is by coming over here in the analytics and over here we have a reference line and we will put a reference line over here so click ok no that's not what I want so if I right click over here or I'll just add a reference line. What I wanted, I guess, is some of sale lines. Okay. It is giving me the average line, but ideally it should not. So I guess the main issue is, is with the 
the type of field that we are choosing what we need is basically a continuous one as you can see it's a green pill now and now if i just go ahead and uh, remove this all right let me try to remove yeah it's removed and now if i add a reference line i will add it on the ear over here and this way it will show me the vertical line like this so if i select it over here it will show me the line over here and if i select it over here it will show me the line here and here based on what i want so if i expand this even in that case this will going to work fine tableau will going to take care of what you are expanding and how you are expanding all right so that's the chart you have created for your you know um, for the purpose of comparative analysis and this is mainly what i wanted to show you this techniques about how you can create a chart like this so i'll meet you now in the new video with some new topic